All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So we got a nice set of speakers in here, uh, bookshelf speakers, and I'm going to use these for monitoring right here in the office. Uh, my current setup is a Bose setup. But I wanted to check these out because these are 50, uh, 50 watt RSM. So you got a wood grain uh, on here. It's, it's really feels These feel really premium in the hand, by the way. And I'll show you the settings and controls on this one. This is like the master. I wanted to pull the grill off so I could show you exactly what you get up under here. So obviously you have this four inch speaker right here then you got just your, your subwoofer out then you got your tweeters and mids and highs kind of integrated into there uh you do have some nice feet on the bottom here to sit it still I'll, I'll integrate this on my desk somehow and i'll also probably have one behind me as well uh but you've got uh nice grippy feet there and then you have the uh ports here for your speaker wire you can use these on pretty much uh anything uh because if we look on the back of this one right here, again, this is kind of the master right here. Uh, and this is the slave of the two. You got your DC, because you gotta have the power there. Uh, you have your power switch right here. Then you, have, you need to run these in to each other. These are gonna link together, and then you're gonna run them out to the source. Now that's if you're running like one source, but if you want to run these separately, you could do that as well, depending on what your preamp and everything looks like. So uh, you've got your audio out right here your line in and everything. Then you also have optical. My my TVs have optical. My you know optical is the way to go. You kind of get the true sound from them. Uh, but uh, the Mac Mini M1 does not have optical, so I'll be running this in directly into the port. Uh, and uh, on this side right here, you can see you have your modes here, so you can press this right here. This is a button, and you have a USB right here, uh, and then you have your volume. We'll, we'll turn it. I got to turn it all the way down right now. And then you got your treble and your bass right here. To determine and you can leave a balance right there so i mean just just looking at these uh for the way they look um i, I like the look of them i really like the look out of them what i might do is kind of slide my monitor to the center so i can have both speakers on each side uh, i'll set it up and uh, i'll show you what it looks like how, how i decided to do it but ultimately um i just feel like this uh this setup here this these speakers right here probably going to sound really good with the mac mini uh, and you can use these for studio monitoring speakers. You can just use them for wireless because uh, they do have a wireless mode. So uh, they are Bluetooth, if what I'm saying wireless. And at the recording of this video, you can grab 10% off. So uh, get these for about $70 or so. So this is going to be really nice. I can't wait to set these up right now. So I want to give you kind of a hardware tour first, and then I'll play some music uh, from these. And, you know, over video, it's always hard to to get the field of it, uh, you know, of what the sound truly is. Even though I have a really high power mic and everything, you still need to get that, you need to be in person to hear when it comes to sound. So I'll be com I'll complete, be completely honest uh, with my sound, my thoughts on these uh, when, when, uh, when I tell you how they sound. But I like the look of them. Again, they do have this detachable grill right here where you could go on. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some changes to my desk area and put the monitor kind of in the center, I think. Uh, and then we'll we'll see how this works out. So let's get this thing going. All right, guys. So here's the setup right here. I decided to slide my monitor this way, right, and kind of not in the center of the desk, but just enough to where I can have both speakers over here, and then have the Mac Mini right there because I actually have two of these desks. There's another one right over there. So this is the setup right here. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up some music. And remember, um, I'm using a, a high power mic at this point. But again, this is coming through the sound of this. Um, i actually been testing this out for a little bit before this part of the video, and they sound fantastic, but I'm going to go ahead and play some music now.
So the sound quality from these is it's, it's, it's fantastic in person. And again, you know, over video, I don't know how well this is going to sound, uh, but it, it just sounds fantastic in person. And for the price, bookshelf speakers that are Bluetooth now, I actually have a set of Bluetooth speakers uh, that are uh, a set of bookshelf speakers that I use for the 75 inch in the, in, the, in the other room. And they sound amazing. So depending on the size of your room and the office and everything or whatever you're doing with these, you'll get some really good sound out of these. So I'm going to play another track here. So depending on, again, the genre of the music, it's going to sound fantastic. So let's take a quick look at the remote. Uh, this is what the remote looks like that, that it comes with. So you have um, your mute button, your power, your volume up and down, pause and play and track. Uh, and then you also have your options button there, your line in, your line two. I'm using line one. You got your Bluetooth button. And then you have your um, USB mode. Uh, and you can, you, you can do music, um, dialogue, or movie. So uh, it's up to you to decide how you're going to choose to set yours up. Uh, but let's play one more track here, and then um, I will conclude this, man. So let's see here. Let me see. Let's get a good one. Get something that's really hitting really hard. Let me see if I can find one. Oh. Oh, man. So folks, let's conclude this. These sound phenomenal. Straight up, they sound amazing. And for the price, there are a lot of options out there for bookshelf speakers. I would like a little bit more bass, so I'm gonna adjust the bass on the side there. Uh, but you, you you won't be able to really hear that bass hit unless you're using some really good speakers. And then the microphone depends. It might the microphone could distort it a little bit over the over the video or whatever. But the bass is hitting hard just enough. But I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit to my liking. I want it a little bit more punchy, like my Bose system. Bose is what I prefer for for when I have it in my office. I've had Bose in my office for years, uh, and this will be my new setup. I just gotta get that bass right. So. Once I get that bass dialed in to what to what I think sounds really good to be able to hear all the different tones and stuff like that, then I'll be ready to go to give it 100%. Right now, I, I get this like a 90 to 100% for sound quality. The bookshelves themselves, they look really good. They're stylish. I like to leave the grills off because I just think it looks a, a little bit better. It makes it more studio-like, you know. Uh, but overall, this is a good size. Uh, I think they hit really hard. I think you'll really enjoy these. So hit that link below. Grab these for 10% off right now if you're looking for some bookshelf speakers. Now, remember, I'm using them with my office. You can use these on your TV, whatever. You can plug them in. There's two line ins. So you can use them Bluetooth. If you just want some new speakers and you and you don't want to have, uh, you want a stylish look for your room or whatever, your bedroom, whatever, your dorm room, these are Bluetooth and they're USB and they're um, aux in. So it's, it's good, man. You got a remote, an EQ on the remote. I think you're ready. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.